Ever hear the one about the mom who mistook her son's chemistry set for a meth lab? She called the cops on him. They show up, ready to bust the next Walter White, only to find little Timmy making vinegar and baking soda volcanoes. Now, imagine a world where your mom isn't just mistaking science projects for illicit activities, but she's actually running her own little pharmaceutical side hustle. Meet Betty. She's your typical suburban mom with a twist. Between packing lunches, driving the carpool, and keeping up with the latest book club selection, she's also moonlighting as a drug lord. No, she's not cooking meth in the basement or growing marijuana in the garden shed. Betty's drug of choice? The over-the-counter kind. She's got a black market operation selling, wait for it, children's chewable vitamins. Yes, you heard that right. Betty's slinging Flintstones gummies like they're going out of style. She's got a network of other suburban moms hooked on her supply. They can't get enough of those little fruity vitamins shaped like Fred and Barney. Betty's operation is top-notch. She's got code words, secret drop-off locations, the works. I need a dino, Betty. My kid's immune system is on the fritz. Can you hook me up with a Wilma, Betty? Little Susie's been looking a bit pale lately. But Betty's empire comes crashing down when the local pharmacist, Mr. Jenkins, notices his inventory of children's vitamins is mysteriously dwindling. He starts an investigation. He doesn't have a badge or a gun, but he's got bifocals and a determination to get to the bottom of the vitamin heist. In a twist of fate, Mr. Jenkins stumbles upon one of Betty's secret drop-offs. He's shocked beyond belief. Betty, the PTA president, the bake sale queen, the woman who always has the freshest lemon squares. He can't believe it. In the end, Betty's empire crumbles, but not before she's become a legend among the suburban moms. Kids all over town are the healthiest they've ever been. And Betty? Well, she's moved on to her next venture, black market fish oil capsules. So there you have it, the tale of a mom who turned chewable vitamins into a criminal empire. If you found this story amusing and you're hungry for more, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you never know what other suburban mom shenanigans will uncover next.